Here are 10 important things to remember when attempting to leave bronze and silver brackets in League of Legends. Number 1. Use League Behavior to your advantage. In League of Legends, the general population doesn't understand how to counter certain roles, very similar to our society today. A Trindamir that split pushes top usually has more success because very few people can disrupt them, similar to how a mechanic knows how to fix a car, and the general public does not. Instead of Trindamir were to go and group with his teammates, we can relate that to driving. Almost everyone in our society knows how to drive, and Trindamir would be in the same boat as everyone else on the team. When you get into higher ranked divisions, you'll start to notice that people will adapt and effectively become a mechanic themselves and counter certain roles. The goal of this is to abuse the ignorance of your bracket. Another example of this is in lower brackets, people don't know how to be an Evelyn or Shaco jungle that that can really counter jungle and counter gank you. Number two, play the champions that you are most skilled at. In real life, will a political science major, PSM for short, be a proficient mechanic without ever practicing? The answer is no. In life, a PSM's car may die. And it is more cost effective for the PSM to attempt to fix his car when he doesn't know how to. This can lead of one of two things. One, he breaks his car, or two, he fixes it with luck. Instead, it would be wise to not attempt to fix your car at all, and let someone who is proficient at the job of being a mechanic fix the car for you. This way, you don't risk messing your car up further. The same follows for League of Legends. Don't play a Moo Moo because he's open. Play a Moo Moo because you know how to play a Moo Moo, or don't play him at all. If you try to repair your car or pick a champion you lack skill in, you risk losing the game or damaging your car more. This doesn't mean don't try new champions. This just means don't play champions you're bad at in ranked. It's something that protects you and your teammates from losing more. Number 3. Ban champions that complete composition. In war, you would hope that the enemy is weaker than you. If the enemy had tanks, you would like to get rid of those tanks because it makes war much easier for you. The same goes in League of Legends. Why allow the enemy team to get the upper hand on you? It is much better to ban a champion that completes composition. Champions like Kennen, Jarvan, and Amumu make great AoE teams. If you're not going to pick it, ban it. Don't go off and ban champions like a LeBlanc if you're just going to stop yourself from getting countered. Essentially, you want to ban champions that counter your team as a whole. Number 4. Pick a strong team comp. Plan and coordinate with your team to create a strong team comp and team select. You'll win more games. If everyone just picks something random, you can have 5 AD, no crowd control, and a weak team. Plan accordingly. Number 5. Don't rage at your teams. In your League of Legends career, your team will make mistakes. My tip is to not rage. If you do, your team will statistically do worse. Try to give constructive criticism. For example, Hey Sona, for future reference, can you make sure you ulti all of them instead of just one? S things like that will help facilitate the game. Sometimes it won't work, but most of the time it will, and teams do respond better to somebody who's trying to help them instead of make fun of them or yell at them for making a mistake. Number 6. Evaluate Risk First Reward In League of Legends, some plays are like gambling. Things like Winning a 1v5, that's close to lottery luck. Others are like winning a game of poker. Kind of like stealing Baron. With only one person. The goal is to evaluate if you should make a play. Over time, you'll easily be able to make decisions without even thinking. When practicing this skill, weigh two options such as attempting to steal Baron, there is a low risk because you are only dying, but there is a high reward for your team because they get Baron buff. However, on the flip side, attempting a 3v5 is a high risk, but also a high reward. Things like 3v5ing can cause you to lose the game. Number 7. Utilize the mute button. It is as simple as it sounds. Just mute the offending player. You can still see where they ping. Number 8. Improve your gameplay. This one is a lot less self-explanatory. Improving your gameplay. You're not going to become a better player if you always have an excuse for everything. Attempt to look at your minimap, ward, even play smarter. Assume your enemy knows what they're doing, but 
Like they say, practice makes perfect. You only get better if you continue to practice. Stop complaining, take a step back, think of what you could have done better in the future. Number 9. Spend less time dead. When you die in League of Legends, you can't help your team. You force your team to have to defend when, if you were alive, you might be able to do Baron or Dragon. And overall, with a lot of death, you cause yourself to fall behind and you hinder your team. It's best to play safer if you have any doubt that you'll win a fight. This doesn't mean don't fight, this just means play smarter. Number 10. Have fun. If you don't have fun in this game's a chore for you, this is not the right game for you. If you don't have fun, you're not going to like it, you're going to do worse because you don't like playing it. So guess what? Have fun when you play. Take pride in playing. Have fun. I know I keep saying have fun, but just, it's, it's really the most important thing to do. If, if you don't like playing, then don't play the game. But make sure you're playing in the right bracket. Make sure that if, if you don't like ranked, you don't play ranked. Don't just do it because it's this little status thing. It, it, that doesn't matter. It matters if you have fun, really, honestly. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked any of the videos I had below, in the the different tips I have added a section in the info for them because I I did take a lot of videos from other people and I, I do want to give them credit like the last video that space lane I, I love that video so I just I put them there for you guys um, feel free to watch them have a nice day uh, but one thing is uh, put in the comments below which your tip uh, to get out of the lower brackets in League of Legends um, yeah, just put your tip in the comment, uh, make sure you comment, rate, and, uh, subscribe. Have a nice day.